mid-February and as you can see I'm out here just about to start fishing. Now although it's mid-February I'm actually targeting and it's winter I'm actually targeting mackerel today. Now I've done a few videos in the past about how at times win um, winter mackerel fishing can be good in here in Cornwall so the plan is to hope there's a few mackerel around and and stock right up on mackerel but, uh, but also see if there's a few herring around mainly for food I'm fishing for food today but if I get enough I'll put a few aside to use for bait for other species later on in the year so I've dropped the anchor at the moment and I'm going to monitor the fish finder and see if there's any shoals of mackerel that, or herring that pass under and then work the depths and hopefully pick a few up it's a bit choppy at the moment and a bit breezy so hopefully it won't be too much wind noise on the, mar on the mic at the moment it's all right at anchor but if it gets a bit more choppy than this and gets a bit lumpy I might have to up anchor and, and fish on the drift in, instead it might be more comfortable on the drift at the moment it's about two hours before low water so I'll fish to low water and then fish a few hours of the flooding tide where I think I'm, I stand more chance of success I've got two rods made up and they're both with sabikis got sabikis on and those of you that have watched my videos in the past will know that I use these a lot and the reason I like to use sabikis is that they're small enough to to pick up the herring if there are herring around and he looks size 6 hooks and the other sabiki rig is slightly different they're on size 4 hooks but small lures the mackerel will go for them but as I said if, if there is any herring around the herring will go for them as well and as usual, usual, got a jig as the weight instead of a lead weight, which will of course also pick up mackerel and other species. So that's the plan. Hopefully there's a few around. There usually is at this time of year. Just hoping, I'm just hoping that this, this doesn't get too windy. If it gets too windy and too rough, of course I'm gonna have to abandon the trip and go in. But I've got, the other rod fishing already with the speakers on I've lowered that down to fishing that about at the moment about 10 15 feet off the bottom and it's it's choppy enough today for that to fish itself you can see you can see how the rod the rod tip is going up and down there and this is something that I often do to maximize your chances of catching something pop another rod in the rod holder and just let it fish itself and uh, you, you, it's, it's often successful that way right so down we go there's nothing much showing on the finder at the moment so what I'll do is when there's nothing showing what I normally do is lower it down the bottom just raise it a few feet off the bottom and fish down the bottom some of the bigger mackerel as I've, as again as, as I've shown in the past can be down the bottom but if I do see shoals start appearing in the water column what I'll do is is come up and uh, and as I say come up into the shoals and and see if I can pick them up that way Well, I was beginning to think the mackerel weren't going to show, but fortunately, we've got a few. It's been pretty pretty quiet 
on the ebb tide, apart from, apart from those few mackerel I caught earlier, but now the tide has turned, and we've got some, we've got some mackerel. I'm pleased to say. The only slight problem is it's getting it's getting a bit lumpy out here. I'm just hoping I can uh, carry on long enough to pick a few up. I mentioned how leaving a rod in a rod holder is often, often pays to fish itself, particularly when there's a bit of a chop. And, and we've got some on the other rod as well. I often find that you just leave it, leave it in the rod holder and you can, you can double your chances of, of picking up fish. So fortunately it looks like a few mackerel are, are showing now. Well, I don't think we've got mackerel here, but we've got something. I've had quite a few um, tugs from squid, but of course I've, I've not been able to hook them. This is not a squid, but it uh, be interesting to see what it is. Could be a whiting, of course. But definitely, definitely doesn't feel like mackerel. Yeah, it's a whiting. But still, it's, it's quite a nice whiting. Well, quite a nice whiting there. That would be nice. A couple of fillets in a nice bit of batter. That would be lovely. Not what, what we're after. We're after the mackerel. But eat, but eat. But even so, nice little bonus. Well, back in now, back into the shelter. It got a little bit lumpy out there. But what happened when the tide was really flooding in, a whole mass of weeds started moving through and it was getting all over the line and and getting on the anchor line and it, it all became a bit uncomfortable. So I decided to call it a day and come in a little bit early. So I got a few mackerel, not the greatest winter mackerel fishing trip I've ever had. But even so, really grateful to be able to be able to catch mackerel in the winter. It's a it's a real treat and definitely worth giving it giving it a go. No herring, I'm afraid today. So got a got a white in uh, as a little extra. So I'll get these mackerel cleaned up and get them home and work out what I'm going to do with them and how I'm going to eat them in the, over the next few days.
So that's the catch all sorted out now. So what I plan to do is, I've got the four mackerel there, which I've kept whole. I'm going to eat those fresh over the next few days. I'm going to, going to have one tonight, which is going to be baked. Then I've got the eight mackerel fillets, and those are going to be smoked tomorrow in the shed. And then what I'll probably do with the whiting fillets is have those tomorrow evening. And I'll probably coat those in batter and then shallow fry them. But what I'm absolute treated is that to be able to have a few really fresh mackerel in the winter, rather than when you, when you normally expect to get them, maybe in the late spring, in the summer, and into the autumn. Absolutely fantastic. Now one of the best ways that I've found to enjoy fresh mackerel over the years is to cook it very, very simply. To cook it whole on the bone, just a bit of seasoning and then bake it in the oven. Or another great way in the summer is to cook it like that on the barbecue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to oil the baking dish. Add some salt and some fre freshly ground black pepper. Pop the lovely mackerel in and then this is just a quick way, an easy way to season. And then just turn it over in the dish with the oil and the, the salt and black pepper. And basically that's it. Just going to pop that in the oven now, probably only take about 15 to 20 minutes and that'll be done. Well the oven's up to temperature so in it goes. One delicious, oily, fresh Atlantic mackerel. Very simply cooked and simply served. And I'm just going to have this as a first course, as you can see, with a nice bit of bread and some lemon juice. Absolutely delicious. And I have to say that mackerel is one of my favourite fish to eat. So tomorrow I'll get out into the shed and smoke those fillets. Now to smoke these fantastic fillets and they, the fillets have been prepared ready for smoking and that preparation has been to salt them for about five minutes to draw out some excess moisture then rinse them to take the excess salt off pat dry with a kitchen towel and then brush the skin lightly with some, some olive oil so i've got my pan with a thin layer of oak dust and then got the burner filled up with mess and as regards smoking time, I usually find about 15 to 20 minutes is more than enough for fillets. And, and with my smoker, that burner filled up usually lasts about 20 minutes. So what I do is I normally just light it and then just, just let it burn out and, and they, they come out absolutely fine. Okay, so we'll get this all put together and uh, get the burner lighted and get smoking.
Well that's the smoking done and they're going to be absolutely delicious and of course will last now a good few days. But one way that I really enjoy eating home smoked mackerel is actually straight from the smoker when they're still warm and still very very moist and juiced, juicy. But of course you can allow them to cool and then pop them in the fridge and just eat them at your convenience. And for those of you that are wondering what I did with the whiting fillets, well as I mentioned I coated the fillets in a nice batter, shallow fried them and had them as a main course. And again really really enjoyable. So once again I hope you found that useful and many many thanks for watching.